Number two, every carpenter has a workshop. Is that true? Every carpenter has is the workshop that determines the showroom. The carpenter's revelation tells you that as a believer, if you must work with God, you must have your secret place. What is your workshop where you generate power from? What is your secret place? What is your altar? Hey! What is your altar? What is that place where you meet with God? Where is that place where you and God intermingle? Matthew chapter 6 and verse 4. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 6. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 8. Matthew 6. Matthew 6 4 said that thine arms may be in secret, that thy father will see it in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Matthew 6 6. But when, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. When thou art shut thy door, pray to the father which is in secret, and thy father which is in secret shall reward thee openly. When thou art shut thy door, 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 4, he said, Enter to the woman who lost the husband, the widow, the prophet's wife. He said, Enter. When thou art coming, shut the door. Many of us have no secret place. We have no place where we meet with God for he that dwelleth in the secret place. Psalm 91 from verse 1 of the most I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 81 verse 7 calls it the secret place of thunder. Sir, ma, what is your secret place? What is your altar? The Bible says God will come down at the cool of the day to meet with man. We have many believers who have no altar speaking for them. Your altar is not just your seed. Leave seed, leave money. I'm talking of your time with God. You spend time in fellowship to build an altar. Seed only consolidates altar. Seed does not raise altar. Do you know, as I began to work with God, there are some things I started learning by the Holy Spirit. I was shocked. The Lord said, said seed does not raise an altar. Seed consolidates an altar. After the altar has been raised, we put a seed as gratitude. I used to anoint people. When I anoint people, I've touched the oil and anointed them. And the Lord said, that's wrong. I said, here. He said, in scripture, when I anoint people, I pour the oil on them. He said, oil is not touched on people. said, oil is poured. So for many years, I was doing it wrongly. God said, get the oil. A drop. Something must touch someone. So when people anoint themselves, tell them to put oil on their palm and touch. It must drop on them, not tap. When he showed me that in scripture, I'm going to teach you from scriptures. But God began to show me that, I'm like, oh, wow. Is this how they anoint? That's why you say, anytime any king is about to be anointed, oil is poured. It's not tapped. They pour the oil on them. So God... Where is that place? Do you have the secret? We are all here in church now. We are here to pray to seek the face of God. But there must be a place in your closet. If you don't have that kind of place, you can turn the church to your secret place. We have most times you come, you sneak in during the, the, the departmental meeting and say, this is my altar. Have a place where you tell God, this is where I meet you. That's what I mean. This is where I meet you. This is where we have an intermingling. Where is your workshop? That determines your showroom. Where God bakes you and God prepares you. The Bible says in Proverbs 18 verse 1. True desire. A man having separated himself. Intermingled with all wisdom. Men of secret place are men that separate themselves. There are things God can never give to a man. Unless the man gets to the secret place. The secret place is the place where matters are made plain. The secret place is the place where God opens the heavens on people. Where details are given. Your secret place is your upper room. When you wait for the promise of the Father. At which I'm talking to somebody right now. What is your credit with God? The secret place is where you have your credit with